my channel it is Wednesday so you know what that means so it's way in Wednesday and I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday whatever you're doing um, as you know I missed last week because of the fact that I was on vacation and then Monday's video didn't go up because we had computer problems on the weekend and we couldn't resolve them before Monday came and so I just decided to postpone that video until next week which Please forgive us. We are trying. The computer is an issue. But since I didn't get to update you on my end of June, I'm going to quick update you on that and then kind of transition into how this past week went for me. So in June, I uh, ended the month with a 10 pound weight loss, but I lost 13 inches over the entirety of my body, which basically makes me super super happy so I lost five inches on my hips three on my waist three on my bust and I did a thigh measurement at the beginning of the month and I lost two inches on my thighs which girl I carry a lot of my weight on my thighs and my hips so losing those inches makes me feel real good um, with that being said on my vacation I decided to take a little detour and enjoy myself and just enjoy the vacation and not overthink that but since being back I have lost all the weight that I had gained and I'm sitting currently pretty at 311 does that make me feel great no not really but I was very thankful that I didn't have any pluses this week as one might say and then I'm back at my starting point so with that my goal for the month of July is to get out of the 300s I think it's attainable it's only 11 pounds I really think I can do it so the only way that I know that I can do it is if I just stick to plan and stick to the goals that I have in front of me so definitely think so. The only thing this month that I have that can be a minor detour in my plan is that my daughter's birthday is on the is coming up and I may partake in a couple bites of cake. I say a couple bites, maybe like one or two and that's it. Um, I do not want to screw up myself anymore, but I do want to celebrate her and I really do like cake, so I'm going to be completely honest. But I can't afford any more or detours anymore like none zippo and when I say I can't afford I had this brilliant idea um, with a friend who is also on her weight loss journey and we were talking about putting financial <laughs> backing to our week so getting paid to lose weight is kind of what we were thinking about doing so Basically, what I'm thinking is that I will do $10 every week that I stay on plan. Anytime I go off plan, I lose a dollar. Um, so if I need to increase that to motivate myself to stay on plan, I will. Um, but at this point, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I can afford $10 a week. You know why? Because I get at least two cups of coffee out a week so I'm just going to sacrifice those two cup of coffee and put that money elsewhere where is that money going is I want to go on an epic trip down to Universal Studios and enjoy the wizarding world to the fullest extent that I can because the last trip that I went on it was very disappointing for me because I had only been three months postpartum and I had gained so much weight during pregnancy I didn't fit on any of the rides and it was just very disappointing for me to only experience the wizarding world half only at half so like I'm just gonna say this if you're a bigger person and know you can't fit on any of the rides at the wizarding world and you can only experience the wizarding world at half of its value 
definitely would challenge you to join me on this journey. Definitely lose some weight to get to the wizarding world with me because I can say since I have been on the rides and gone and done things that it is a magical experience. It is something that you don't want to be missing out on. Like. It is a theme park, so you want to go on the rides. Missing out on the rides, you're missing half of the experience of it. Um, yeah, so just want to encourage you to push forward, push for those goals, and try to get there. And that is what I'm going to do. And with that extra money that I'm going to be putting aside on every week that I am losing weight, I am going to have this nest egg for my wizarding world. Do I think it will pay for all of my trip? No, I do not. So I may have to increase the value when I get closer to my goals because it's going to be more difficult the longer this process goes on. But right now we're starting out at $10 a week. If this is something that you would do is kind of charge yourself for being on plan and giving yourself money definitely leave a comment down below um, and say you're in because I think money sometimes motivates us more than other things. I mean, I'm definitely motivated by food, um, obviously, so I have that problem, but money also motivates me. So this will be a way for me to create a little nest egg for the most epic universal trip ever. That's what I've been calling it in my head. So. I have great big dreams and I'm heading towards them and part of that big dreams is getting to celebrate all the goals and all the successes that I have. So with that being said, you can create your own magic anywhere <laughs> and I love you guys. I will talk to you guys next week. Bye!